Hello everyone out there. Um, since so I have a camera again, I'm going to start doing a lot more videos. I, you, you probably already saw my tour of my room 3.0 earlier this morning. And uh, this video I'm just going to review the internet radio feature of the PSP firmware 3.80. Or 3.82. So basically, here's my PSP. And it's still got mostly the same icons. By the way, it's a PSP. It's not, a, it's not a slim, unfortunately. I wish it was, but it's not. So it's one of the older ones. So this one might have slightly increased performance. But anyway, internet radio, you access it by going there. And uh, I prefer one. I don't know why. That's just probably the first one I downloaded to tell you if you, I've used it the most. So it's starting up. And actually this runs just like uh, if any of you use any of the portals for the PSP. It runs just like that, basically. It's just like a, a, a web page that's cached on your memory stick, and it loads into your memory. And it just links, basically, to Shoutcast, uh, Internet Radio Provider. And you can see it's taking a while to load up, and that's why I said on the Slim, it's going to have increased performance. Because uh, it's taking a while. But there goes my music. Some German metal or something. Sometimes the stations in this Internet Radio Player aren't always exact, so... I mean, I've turned in for J-pop, and I've gotten techno, or vice versa, so you never know. But here's all of our choices here. Sorry, that's really blurry. My camera's not focusing. Huh, it doesn't want to focus. Um, here, let's switch over to, we'll switch over to uh, techno, just so you can hear what the difference sounds like when, like, stuff switches. You can see it takes about maybe 15 seconds just had to change channels, and uh, sometimes there's a bit of audio distortion when you change channels, but it didn't happen to us this time. So, yep. And since the exit, the internet radio player, uh oh, when you, when you pause it, it has a nice little fade out feature. Or it just fades out, then I'll fade back in. But, yep. Okay, so I'm going to close that, and it'll actually say. There's actually a way to, let me show you that really fast, let me restart this, sorry. Uh, there's actually a way to kind of hack it so you can listen to music. It's not really a hack, but so you can listen to music while you're on the internet. Um, what you need to do is you need to save your home page as a search engine like Google or uh, Yahoo. I'm using a custom portal called Boombox as my, uh, and I did not have anything to do with making that. That's someone else's property. But I'm using a custom portal called Boombox to, uh, Make mine. So see what you do is you're gonna want to go to see favorites is blocked off there, and all that history and favorites are blocked, but home is open. So you're gonna want to go a different go to a different tab, then hit that, then hit home, and now it's gonna go over the boombox for me. And the, the address for that, if you want to get that, it's called it's uh, at HTTP. Uh, Echo Recoding.net and it's PSP only, so don't try to visit it in your web browser because you won't get anything. And there's Boombox. You can see it has links to Google, Faves, Dig, all that stuff in the bottom. So I'm going to go to PSP, which is like the best site in the world for PlayStation enthusiasts. And there we go. We're accessing the PSP, the PSP version of that with music playing in the background. So that's a way to hack it, so you can listen, so you can go to regular websites. Without, because you can see the address, en the address, the address en entry bar is, is grayed out, and I can't access it. So that's one way to hack it. But I'm gonna close that, and basically that's the internet radio feature. And yeah. So, uh, there's no telling what we're going to see in firmware 4.0, but a lot of people are saying we're going to see possibly a, uh, by the way, this is my PS3 here. A lot of people are saying we're going to possibly see, uh, possibly a, hmm, probably Skype for, or we're going to see Skype for the Slim only. So it's going to leave my PSP fat, uh, kind of out of luck there, unfortunately. And that sucks, but, um... I'm looking forward to the next update. It should carry a lot of interesting features with it. Uh, that's the good thing about Sony and their products. I mean, the, PS, the PSP can be modularly updated. 
I mean, it's it's an organic product because it evolves constantly. I mean, it's not like, I mean, if I bought if you see if you saw the same firmware you had uh, four years ago when the PSP came out, I mean, we wouldn't even have an internet browser and we'd have like half the features we have now. So I mean, the PSP, I mean, every new firmware update improves it so much, and I really appreciate Sony for making this thing updatable. And I mean, the PS3 too. I mean, every I mean, we can have, we they, Sony gave us DivX and they gave us Linux support. They give us all that stuff, so it's it's awesome that uh, this uh, the support from Sony, and uh, that's why I love Sony, and uh, they're they're really my favorite company, <laughs> besides Apple. But uh, I'm running Tim running a Windows PC, but uh, I'm gonna get a Mac Pro or MacBook Pro pretty soon when I get back from boot camp, because you know if if you haven't heard already, I'm going to the Marine Corps in uh, four months, so I'm looking forward to that, and uh, probably buy a Mac Pro after that, so that should be cool. And I'm hoping to get a job in the Marine Corps as a tactical network specialist. So uh, I've worked a lot with computers, like programming and stuff. So hopefully all that will tie in to uh, what I've done with computers already and just help me and what I want to major in computer science. So, yep, that's my video. Thanks for watching.